Three steps to creating helpful marketing. Number one, identify every single question your prospects and clients have ever asked you and answer them. Okay, look at old emails, go back a year into your emails, ask your staff, ask yourself, ask your clients, listen to what people are asking you, uh, ask suppliers and start to just identify all those questions and answer them. I reckon there's 50 to 100 questions you could identify real quick and answer them via a blog, via a video, via a podcast. And then if you run out of questions, use, so, use something like Google's predictive search where you start to key in key searches that people put into Google and see what Google are automatically dropping down in that drop down box under the search box and then scroll down and there'll be another eight or so headlines as well that Google is saying, hey, people who are searching for that are also looking for this. They're headlines for your next video, for your next blog, for your next podcast. So identify all the questions. The second step in creating helpful marketing is to start to create engaging content. This is where you step it up. This is from where you go from answering frequently asked questions to actually, dare I say, starting to entertain and even engage even further. So examples of that would be create a podcast. Create a podcast where you interview specialists, where you express your opinions, where you get up on your soapbox and have a laugh and, have, and share some editorial opinions. You could create a video, you could do a video newsletter where once a week you stand in front of the camera in your office or outside or wherever you want to be and start to uh, tell people what's going on in the industry in which you work. You know, I know a travel agent who does that, who just does three, three minute weekly video. You know, China Southern have just released some new seats out on the wing. Um, you know, then there's, you know, like uh, there's a new business class in Qantas or there's a new menu on, on United or whatever. But just being helpful and sharing it that way. Write a book. Self-publish a book. Go to a site like blurb.com and see how easy it is to self-publish. It wasn't five years ago, it is now. So start to create that really interesting content. Think of yourself as a media, as the media. That's what, as small business owners, we can start to be publishers, we can start to be the media. This is incredible. Third point is lean in. The ones who win in this space, in this helpful marketing space, are the ones who commit to it. Don't call me in a month's time and say, I've created two blog posts and one podcast and it's not working, Timbo. Do it for six months and do it regularly. Do it weekly and absolutely lean in. Leaning in, it's a surfing term or a skateboarding term. You lean into the wave, you lean into that corner, you are going to have the ride of your life. You lean back, you're going to fall over and you know the proverbial is going to hit the fan. So like, just get stuck in, lean right in and own it. Own the idea and commit to it. And as no one starts to call and as you speak into that microphone or look down the barrel of the camera thinking, really, is there anyone watching? Is there anyone listening? Yes, there is. And at some point, they're going to stick their head up and say, you know, hey Timbo, you don't mind if I call you Timbo. They're not going to say that because that's not your name, that's my name, but they're going to, you know, yeah, you got it. Opportunity is now here, guys. You've got a day ahead of you where you are going to learn to become an authority in your business. Someone has to be. Someone has to be the authority in your industry.